What's going on guys? This is part two of the Rat Rod inspired interior on my 1965 Mustang, AKA the Iron Six. Where we left off in part one was I was getting ready to do the brushed metal effect on the roof structure inside. So that's where we're gonna pick up. All right, next step is to get the bare metal look. Like I said, I got this method from watching uh, Rat Rod Bob. And we're gonna take this cloth soak it in paint thinner uh, mineral spirits and then i'm going to spray the whole thing with this metal look and i'm going to bring it in so i'm going to do all this outside because i'm sick and tired of spraying in the garage then i'll bring this in and i'll heat it up with a heat gun and get it to the consistency of about like a crayon and then we're just going to take it fold it up and go in and start rubbing on the metal all right so we got it saturated you do want to wring this out after you have it in the mineral spirits before you spray it down. You just want it damp. You don't want it soft and wet. And uh, then he said you basically just want to dry it out and get it to like, he said about a crown-like consistency. And once we get there, we can start spraying. All right, that should be good. And that's really about all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over this whole thing and kind of just basically paint it. I want I want to keep a lot of that black showing through. I just want it to kind of have a different look. So that's what we're doing. That almost looks like you're going over it with a sharpie. I'm gonna try my best to to go in the same direction because I really do want this to look kind of like a brushed aluminum almost. So I don't know how long it's going to take this to dry, but I think we'll be all right. All right, so here's the finished look. I mean, it's subtle. It actually looks, stands out more in the camera than what it does to the naked eye. But I'm not going to do the actual flat roof panel. Um, I think that would just be too much. I like the contrast of the brushed metal up against the black, the way everything stands out. And uh, we're going to keep it like this for now. And I can always add more if I decide I want more. But for right now, that's what we're going to do now. I am thinking I got to see how this dries because I would actually like to rub that silver on the inlays on the seat. So we're going to let this dry for a few days and see if it pulls or anything. And if not, I'm going to consider doing it on the seats. I got to think about it. We'll see. All right, guys. So a ton of time has passed since I filmed that segment doing the brushed metal look. I took the time to do the video where I epoxy primed the car. So that is now mostly epoxy primed. I installed the kill mat, which I didn't film that because it's pretty straightforward and very boring. And I have all of the glass installed back in the car. I'm um, to the point now. Well, I guess first, let me show you a good look of how the inside turned out. So you can see the brushed metal look really stands out against the satin black of the hood and the dash and all that. So I'm really happy with this look. I like that this area is exposed because it kind of pays homage to the T-bone accident that happened that I repaired. You can still see kind of some of that. There are sharp edges. I am thinking about putting stuff around the edges for now. Also, I will be putting insulation you can't really see it, but down in this cavity so that all the noise from the trunk won't be coming up through here and echoing all over the place. Uh, where I'm at, I'm kind of at a crossroads, I guess, because I want to get the carpet in and put the interior in. But before I do that, I have to get the weather stripping and panels back in so that I can get the glass aligned properly because if I put the interior in, then I won't be able to access any of that. But before I do that, what I'm probably gonna do is whenever I repaired the B-pillar, I had the wiring out and then I welded the B-pillar back in. 
So in order to run this wiring back through, I am going to just cut it right here and then fish it through the side and then I'll solder all this back together. So there's a couple of different things I can do. I think I'm gonna do the wiring now. So I managed to get the wiring harness cut, fed through the trunk, back along the quarter panel into here, and everything soldered back together, sealed up. So this section right here, I'll just wrap real good with electrical tape and we can move on. I need to put a divider in the back seat here. Now you can get a steel one online. It's like 66 bucks plus I assume shipping. Um, I just went to Lowe's and picked up uh, sheet metal and I think I paid like 28 bucks for this. So I'm just gonna cut a section out of that and seal off the back. And then I'll throw some whatever kill mat I have left on it and we'll call it. All right, so I got my section cut out. Knock this tab down, have my pieces cut. So I just need to bolt these in and we'll have the back seat sealed up. All right guys, finally time to get the carpet installed in this thing. The kill mats wrapped up, the dividers wrapped up. Uh, I started running low on the kill mat, so I just did the best I could, but it's better than what it was. So with all that being done, I think we are finally ready to throw the carpet in. Basically, I just cut a little T-section here in the carpet. Uh, there's an area you can see where the shifter goes about, so... I'm just going to get this in the ballpark and then we'll make sure everything is... ...good. Well, so I picked this carpet up from Virginia Mustangs and I didn't read the description entirely and it does not go up along the rockers. For some reason it is cut and hemmed right here and it says requires the use of vinyl along the rockers, which I don't have and I'm not going to do at this point. I'm just going to leave that exposed, get the carpet in so I can get moving on with this thing. I guess it's just gonna I mean I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll do the rubbed maybe I'll do the bare metal effect here too I don't know I uh, I just want to get the carpet in and this is just gonna have to suffice for now so if we want to find the silver lining at least I don't have to trim really at all so that's the way I'm gonna look at it yeah I mean, it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Now, I'll have to take these kick panels off again to get the fenders and everything on, but I'm just installing them just to finish off the look for the sake of the video. Doesn't look too bad. I can live with that for now. All right guys, this video has been filmed over the course of several days. I can't even remember where that last segment left off. I think I was installing the seats or I was laying in the back seats. I went ahead, 
finished everything else up. It was just installing the front seats and putting the panels back on, some boring stuff. Got the, the, got the gauge cluster back in, the dash door on. So anyway, it's pretty much finished on the inside, so I will show you how it turned out. Now I'll tell you right off the bat, this turned out way better than I expected. I am so incredibly happy with this. It's not as rat rod-ish as I thought it was going to be. Really the only rat rod element would be the internal roof structure. I don't think I'm ever going to put a headliner in this. I love the way this looks. It's kind of hard to see there. That brushed metal look against that satin black is awesome. I even repainted the visors with that duplicolor vinyl spray. They turned out really nicely. Everything looks good. The steering wheel, uh, I polished up the centerpiece. It's got some pitting in it, but I'm gonna leave it. Um, it just shows the age and you know, this thing was made in 1965 and I just, <clears throat> that's the kind of look I like. I don't need the high end polish stuff. I absolutely love that you can see some of the remnants of the T-bone damage that was done on this car. To me, that's an awesome talking point for anybody that wants to ride in it. Yeah, I can't wait to get this thing on the road and we are that much closer. Really had things in overdrive. I got kind of burnt out on that video series. If you couldn't tell, I was kind of talking monotone and just, yeah, I was basically a zombie. Not a whole lot left to do with the interior. I have to install the seat belts and I did pick up um, seat belts for the rear so my daughters can ride with us <clears throat> and I'm probably gonna put something around the edges back there just so they can't cut themselves it's really not that sharp but my girls are animals and uh, yeah they'll they will figure out a way to cut themselves as far as the carpet not coming up onto the sides here I'm leaving this I like the way it looks it doesn't bother me I'm happy with it and as far as the being able to see some of the kill mat shining through. I'm just going to get black duct tape and run it right along the edges here so there's at least black showing through and not the foil. So yeah, I do have a radio from my 66 parts car but I don't think I'm going that route. I'm not going to just throw in like a cheap CD player from Walmart. Um, I'm thinking about making something for this which will be a little bit more period it's not going to be period correct, but it'll be period inspired. It's a little more practical. So, yeah guys, let me know what you think. I'm blown away. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to get this thing on the road. I am loving everything about what I've done in the last month. Kind of sped things up, but I'm finding that that's just who I am. And that's, I'm okay with things not being perfect. And... Yeah, I think I might even leave this thing in epoxy primer for as long as I possibly can because I love that look too. So, might do something, <clears throat> add a little something to the outside, not sure yet, playing around with some ideas. I did decide not to put the silver inlay on the seats. I still might do take this brushed look and put it on the silver inlay, but I don't know how well that would hold up. So, there is one tear. Out of all the seats, there's one tear. That's the way the car was. I think I might let my daughter come out and stitch this up with black thread and just leave it. I, I would, I mean, to me, it's another talking point and it just looks cool. So, yeah, really happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this was a fun series. Glad it's wrapped up. And uh, until the next episode, guys, stay driven.